What is the best wood to smoke chicken on? In this experiment, I'm gonna put it to the test, smoking six chicken breasts over six popular smoking woods to see which one tastes best, which one tastes worse, or whether the difference is even noticeable. So in this experiment, I really want that smoky flavor to take center stage. So this is why I've chosen chicken breasts because they don't have a particularly strong flavor of their own. And I know they'll pick up a lot of smoke flavor in a very short space of time. This is also why I'm gonna steer clear of any rubs, any marinades, injections, brines, anything like that, and just lightly season these with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt, and that's all we'll do today. So first up, I'm gonna light some charcoal briquettes, get them on the smoker, add a few chunks of this apple wood, and then let the smoker get up to about 112 Celsius, ready to start smoking. So we'll put this on here, and we're ready to go. While we wait for our food to smoke, I thought it might be useful to touch on some of the principles behind pairing wood smoke with different foods. Now, you might have come across those overcomplicated tables on the internet that list all the different hardwoods and the different proteins and have ticks and crosses next to which combinations supposedly do or do not work. In my opinion, those tables are really unhelpful because we all have different taste preferences. And pairing wood smoke with different foods is kind of like wine pairing. Just because one person says the Chardonnay tastes great with the sea bass, it doesn't mean that all the other wines aren't going to taste great. And also you might like different wine to that person. It's one person's opinion. And the same is true when it comes to pairing wood smokes. We all have different taste preferences and it depends what is it that we want to taste. Do we want a really intense smoky flavor or do we want a delicate smoke flavor? So I like to think of this as a spectrum. So if we have very mild smoke flavor to very kind of strong, intense smoky flavor, we can start to plot different woods along this. And the reason why I've chosen the six woods that I have today is because they all have very different kind of smokiness properties. They, they fall at different points along this spectrum. So on this end of the spectrum, we've got our orchard woods or fruit woods like cherry and apple. These have got a really mild flavored smoke and they're really good in situations where either we're working with a delicate protein like fish or chicken, where generally you don't want that kind of really intense smoky flavor or in situations where you want smoke to be that kind of secondary flavor that sort of sits in the background. Maybe you've got a really delicious cut of meat or you're relying more on the rub or the marinade to kind of be the main flavor and you want smoke to be a more of an aftertaste. That's where this end of the spectrum is really helpful. The other end of the spectrum is where we have our really intense smoky flavor. So in our case, that's mesquite and hickory. These have got really strong smoky flavors so generally they pair a little bit better with red meats that can take on a lot of that smoky flavor and still taste really delicious. And then bang in the middle is where we have oak. Oak is a really great wood to smoke with because it's kind of that Goldilocks wood smoke of not too smoky, it's not kind of too intense, it's not too mild. You're always gonna taste oak smoke, but it's also quite hard to overpower most foods with oak. So oak is a really safe bet, if you, especially if you're only picking one set of wood chunks to work with, I would definitely go oak. But bear in mind, this is a spectrum and it comes down to your personal taste preferences. If you love that really smoky taste, you might edge up one or two and you might maybe work more with kind of oak and hickory. If you prefer smoke to sit in the background and you want your food to kind of have a bit of a smoky taste but not be overpowered, maybe you edge down, maybe you work with cherry and apple. It all comes down to what you want and what you enjoy tasting. Okay, so here we've got these six different pieces of smoked chicken. We've got the apple wood, cherry wood, maple, oak, hickory, and mesquite. So I'm gonna start off with the apple wood. Yeah, that's really nice, really nice and subtle. The smoke flavor and that's really delicate. It doesn't overpower the, the chicken. You can still taste that chicken flavor through the smoke. It's not completely overshadowed the chicken flavor. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna try the cherry wood smoked chicken. Now I have to say this smelled absolutely insane when it was on the smoker. Of all the woods, the cherry wood definitely smelled the best. Yeah, it smells good. Mmm, surprisingly subtle actually. I was expecting that to have a little bit more of a kick. Can I tell the difference between the apple and the cherry? There's not a lot in it. For how strong the smoke flavor smelled when it was on the smoker, I'm surprised actually at how delicate the, the taste that is, but that's, that's really nice. Okay, so next I'm gonna try the maple smoked chicken. Now you can see this one got quite a bit of color on it. It's pretty dark. Let's see how it tastes. You can already smell that's gonna be stronger. <laughs> That's quite different actually. Wow, yeah, that's really, really pretty strong. Okay, I'm gonna say that doesn't really work with chicken. It's, it's really, definitely a level up from cherry and I can't taste chicken. It kind of just tastes like I'm eating like smoke. Like it, the, the chicken flavor doesn't come through. Like it's, it's really, really overpowered by, um, 
what I can only describe as pepperoni <laughs> taste. It's, this feels like a kind of a Heston thing. Like it's, it's, it looks like chicken, but it tastes like pepperoni. Next, I'm going to try oak. So oak is kind of normally my go-to. Like oak, generally speaking, should go pretty well with everything. Um, this one doesn't have as much color. You can see it got quite a light coating of smoke. It smells really subtle compared to, compared to the maple, which I can smell from here. The oak is really kind of, hasn't taken as much smoke on. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. I think that's probably my favorite one so far, actually. It's not got too much smoke, like it hasn't taken, I can still taste the chicken, the chicken comes through. It feels like the smoke is kind of adding to it. It's not completely drowning out the flavor of the chicken like it was with the maple. So yeah, the oak definitely works. Okay, so next I'm gonna try the hickory. Again, this is another one that smelled really good on the smoker. The hickory and the cherry just smell absolutely incredible when they were cooking. And we can see this did get a, a fair bit of color on it. Not as much as the maple, but looks like we've got a good amount of smoke on it. Oh, smells good. That smells really good. Like almost like Christmas ham. Mmm, yeah, that's good. Again, I'm gonna say probably a bit intense. The smoke flavor is really nice. I think that would go really well on pork or, or beef, but chicken, it just feels like it's it's a bit too much smokiness. Okay, so next up we've got mesquite. I'm pretty interested in this one because people often sort of say use mesquite with caution. It's quite a powerful, strong flavored smoke. Um, so I imagine with chicken, we're gonna find this to be pretty overpowering, uh, particularly considering maple and the hickory, um, I think was pretty like too strong for, for chicken, but let's find out. Hmm, yeah, weird. Kind of um, oddly sweet. It doesn't taste like any chicken I've ever had. Like it's really unusual in a good way. No, <laughs> it, it kind of tastes like smoked chicken gone wrong. Like it, it doesn't really taste like what I would expect. Not a fan. Okay, so I've tried all six pieces of chicken and if I had to rank them from best to worst, I would go cherry, oak, apple, hickory, maple, mesquite. But to be honest, the difference was more subtle than I expected. I thought some of these would taste pretty gross and really overpowered by the smoke and others would be delicious, but the difference between them was actually quite subtle. I think any of these would work, some more so than others, but the difference isn't that significant. And I think there are so many other things in barbecue that matter so much more and are gonna have so much more impact on the end flavor of what it is you're cooking, whether that's the temperature you're cooking at, the quality of the meat you're cooking, the method that you're, you're smoking it and how long it's being cooked for. These are all gonna make so much more difference than what type of wood you're using. So don't do what I did. You don't need to get six or seven bags of wood chunks pick one, learn how to use it, learn what it tastes like and get to know it and you'll be fine. So if you want to see more experiments like this one, click on the screen and I'll see you in the next experiment.